going on? What's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm back from SEMA. Uh, before y'all even ask, I didn't record anything. I uh, was too busy trying to network and make shit happen, partying. So I was too busy. Anyways, so we're back. We're back on the Hot Boy. Um, time to show you guys this new color. It's been done actually for probably two weeks. I just haven't had time to get to it to show you guys. And it's to get it now. So today, all I got to do, well, this afternoon, all I got to do is finish putting on like the side skirts and a couple of the little things. We still don't have a hood yet, but the car's looking amazing. So, all right, so this is the new color. It's actually like a Toyota gold. Um, side skirts are not on. Uh, I don't even know how I ended up on this color. I, got, I just kind of went in there and I was like, yo, show me the color cards. And this is where we ended up at. So but comment below, tell me what you guys think. I like it. It's definitely different for me. Um, but you know, it'll grow on me some more. Uh, car looks really good. I gotta put the side skirts on. We got the overs on already, got the front fenders on. I'm still waiting for the hood and bash bars, but I'm getting real eager to drive this thing. So it might happen sooner or later. Uh, we do have one problem. The car's way too low. Like this is literally sit down with tires on right now. Car's too low. So we are gonna have to raise the car some to make it more drivable or make like a skid plate or something, something else to drag. But uh, that's kind of how she is. We kind of got to fix the drowsy eye because this is KBD S14 bumper. And you know, they kind of suck for fitment when it comes to not having bracing and stuff. So we're going to try to fix all the bracing and stuff and get it looking right. We're going to get the side skirts on on this side. All the stuff on the other side's already done. I just got to bolt it on. Um, but yeah, comment below, tell me what you guys think. I'm going to get to putting the rest of this together and moving forward. Let's get to it. All right, so I got the kit on. It's not permanent, but man, what a sight to see. This thing looks good. Don't mind all the drills and stuff on the floor. This side's a little bit higher, but we gonna figure that out. Um, I do want to run a bigger tire so I could actually use the FDF on there, but I think this is hot. This thing looks really good. Digging that, side skirt's real low. Definitely gonna have to raise it to drive it around. If I could drive around with this and not destroy everything in like a week, I would. But we know that ain't gonna happen. I feel like if I run a bigger tire in the front though, that'll help quite a bit. Um, because that has a, a 225.35. I wanna run a 40 just so I can have some traction up front also. Because I do plan on drifting this thing a bit. Or we're gonna even have to get some airbags. Or like the air cups or whatever that goes at the top of the coil over. we gotta do something but man whew, that they look good next funny thing is when i chose this color i forgot that i did the valve cover this color and it goes well because the valve cover is gold the car is gold the caliper is already gold so no complaints there i'm happy with that oh the hood is heavy once I get my hood in it's gold, that'll complete the look. This thing will look fire. So I'll probably take the wheels off now. Um, I, one of them's leaking air, so I'll probably have to take that apart. That's what I was doing here. If you see, I got a little soap water on the wheel. Uh, I'm gonna find out where she's leaking. I'm gonna take it apart so I can clean and polish the lip, and then we can mount the new tire on there. Test that out, do whatever trimming and banging and hammering, whatever you gotta do to make this thing clear. You have to trim the bump a little bit right there, but. That's part of the process, right? And the back is just no alignment yet though. So we still gotta get alignment, get it right. But so far, so good. All right, cars inside on the lift. Don't say I'm getting the carry away because I've been bought this, okay? So when I was putting the car together, I realized these Johnnies were all bent up and mangled and modified in all kind of weird ways, not to my liking. So I had ordered some power by Max and now because the car's done painted, we're gonna slap these on there real quick. We're gonna get these on there real quick tonight while, while I got some time. Make it happen. Alright, so it'll be on in three, two, one. And boom, it's on. <clears throat> Damn. I feel like I should have powder coated the FDF gold. That shouldn't be too hard. Maybe one day, but not today. Um, next thing is figure out why these wheels are leaking. Where they're leaking, shine them up, get some bigger tires on them. We should be good. Am I up for it? 
No, I'm not up for it right now. So I'll go back and see what else I can do. We got a little bit of hammering to do because the wheels are already touching. That's going to suck. 240 things. Don't miss it. Hammer that one in too. We should be gooch. Let me show some clearance. Not in the mood to make bumper brackets, but I will. Just not right now. All right, so my nephew went ahead and uh, polished shop the Johnny's, got that out the way for me. And me and Nick over here doing some trimming, trying to get some stuff to fit, AKA butching up all the fiberglass on the fresh painted car. Look at that. So, you gotta do what you gotta do, but this thing's looking real good with the polish wheels. Like, look, oof. Oof. Starting to come together. Also, the bash bars came today. Hold on. Let's see. Bash, bash bars came in today. Ah, it's late, but we're trying to get to everything. I'll take it out and show it to you guys. It needs to powder coat, but the bash bars came in from Anjuku Racing. And, yeah. These are the bash bars, and Jucuration ER spec, I believe they are. These are real clean. Um, I also got my hood from them for the 14, so Chris just made a trip today and picked them up. These things are like, they fire. I, I really like them. Um, I'm also gonna make some support bars on top of them for the Kuki bumper to try to keep it up some, because y'all know how uh, KBD always needs support, could they be? So, yeah, we'll get to that here in a bit. All right, guys, the bash bars. One's still off, that's where we ended, and one's on the car. So before I can get them powder coated, I had to like just make whatever bracket and whatever trimming with the bumper, that way I don't damage it. And I was like, damn, all right, I'm gonna just buckle on tonight and get it done. And after about like five or six hours, I finally had the bumper on and fitted, and the bash bar modified, so tomorrow we can send them to get powder coated. I didn't record any of it because like I was, I feel like I'm dragging this out too long. Um, it, this is like the longest it ever take me to do one of my personal cars. So it's, it was getting kind of annoying. So I'm going to show you guys what the car looked like and then hopefully uh, we can get to drive this thing soon. The hood's going to get painted um, and then we'll get that on there and then we can start driving it and then we'll do the AC and then we'll go there. But I know you guys tired of seeing me work on this thing. Here she is. Here she is. Here Bam! There she is. Look at this thing. Yes, it's gonna stay that low. I did two different tire sizes. The other tire size just made everything touch. So, we hot boy. We hot boy. Look at that. We hot boy. We hot as hell. He, he mad. He mad. Nick mad because Chase don't look this good. Look at this. Damn, you took the light off back there, man. Yeah, man. Go put the light back. Ah, there we go. Look at this thing. Side skirt's on permanently now. Missing a couple of screws. Chris polished up the wheel. Big shout out to Chris. You know what I'm saying? He stayed late last night and polished it out. Look at this thing. Look at this fit, man. Ride down the street and be like, dang, he hot boy. All that gold. That's what they're going to say. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Look at the, look at the fit, man, and everything. This is crazy. Look at that. Shout out to Haitian for letting me hold on to his hood for now. I don't know. His car's somewhere out there. But this thing looks... <sighs> Let me just sit down and take it in for a second, guys. Ah, that looks like what I had in my mind. I don't know how we ended up with gold, but we ended up with gold. All right, so with that being said, guys, that'll bring us to the end of this video. I'll see you guys next one. Thanks to everyone that entered into the raffle. Uh, congratulations again to the winner. Um, maybe we'll raffle something off next. Um, it's just been really busy in the last couple of weeks, so you guys haven't seen me doing much YouTubing, but uh, I'll be back uh, with more videos frequently, right, Nick? Uh, hopefully. It better be. Yeah, we're just burning that midnight oil. We'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Go over my tank. Go over my watch. Remix it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we know what you're saying.
Yeah, this motherfucker ain't got no e-brake. 